In just a matter of minutes and with full force, police continue their efforts to make the streets of Niagara Falls a little safer. We're really focusing on street level drug dealers, um, all, the, all these drug houses that are, that are popping up in, in, in neighborhoods, in nice neighborhoods with great people living there, and we're trying to give them some relief. Early Wednesday morning, dozens of Niagara Falls and state police officers and deputies from the Niagara County Sheriff's Department searched four suspected houses for drugs. I'm trying to send a strong message that <laughs> Niagara Falls isn't a place to uh, conduct drug sales. Hey. Okay. Two houses, both a few feet away from each other on 18th Street, were the first to be raided at the same time. One man was arrested for an outstanding warrant and the other for animal cruelty charges. A loaded shotgun was also found right outside of the home. The SWAT team then executed two other search warrants, one at a 19th Street home and another around the corner on Niagara Street. No drugs were found in any of the four houses, but police say that doesn't mean the raids weren't successful. We hit some houses that were uh, smoke houses and uh, small amounts of sales. Oftentimes they're going to sell or smoke up what they have just as quickly, so it's a, it's a hit and miss thing. And these raids wouldn't be possible without the community's help. Police say it's tips from the public that lead them to the locations. We like to work Work with uh, community organizations uh, and neighbors. Um, these are again, these are constant uh, houses that are of interest to the police that we we constantly get complaints about. According to police, Wednesday's raid was just one of about 40 that have taken place since the beginning of the year, and they say there will be plenty more to follow until drug dealers get the message. In Niagara Falls, Antoinette Dalbell, YNN.